And finally, I'm having a look at the last in the new Silenex Ephysio series of heat sinks. This is their low profile. It is designed for use with HTPC cases and other low profile cases. It's compatible with a wide variety of sockets, just like the rest of the Ephysio lineup. Here we can see that it uses three six millimeter heat pipes. So even though it comes in a small box like the compact, it's actually going to be more similar to the performance in terms of, well, heat pipes. Okay, it uses a Silenex fin, uh, fin, fan with optimized fan blades and it has a universal mounting system compatible with all these different kinds of CPUs including uh, K8, AM2, AM3, AM2+, LGA775, LGA1156, LGA1366 and if you want to read all that on your own you could do it here. And here are the specs. Fairly lightweight which is what you'd expect from an HTPC optimized cooler. So let's have a look at the accessory package, which comes in a much smaller box than the others already, I'll tell you that much. Okay, so, where's my, oh, okay, it's in there, that explains it. Okay, so we've got a fan speed controller. These are quite effective, I've used them before, they're excellent. It also includes a double-sided Velcro thing here. You've got all metal fan mounting gear, I love that, I hate plastic. And for AMD, you've got the same, more of the same, more metal. Excellent. It all feels relatively sturdy as well. I don't think you have to worry about these going flying off your socket or anything like that. Okay, so here is a fan. This is a slim, so this is a low profile 100 millimeter fan. This only looks, how thick is this thing? Hold on a minute. 24 decibel, 54 CFM is what it's rated for. This is an Aphysio series quiet fan and uh, I wish I could Think of how thin this is. I mean, it looks like 10 millimeter would be my guess, but it would have to be 15, wouldn't it? Well, let's have a look here. Yeah, that's got to be 15 mils. There it is next to a 25 millimeter Silenex fan. So yeah, it's got to be a 15 mil. You know what? Why don't we plug this in? I'm kind of curious as to how loud it is. That's not too bad. It has a bit of an airflow noise to it. But it's not, a, it's not a distracting noise. Here, I'll turn it off and turn it back on again. See, it takes a while to ramp up, I guess, because of the small motor on it. But uh, here, have a listen to it ramping up. Yeah, not bad at all, considering that it's a low-profile fan. And you can use the fan speed controller on it, of course. So that'll take it down to a much slower speed. All right, here is the low profile cooler. That is low profile. Wow, that's really short. Okay, not that I would you know, call anyone out on being short. Anyway, here's your universal backplate with its insulating cover on it so it doesn't short out the back of your motherboard. And there is the heatsink itself. So it uses the preferred mounting system out of the Ephysio series heatsinks I've seen. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out these rubber grommets here. Uh, unlike all of the others from this series, this particular heatsink is not push-pull compatible, although I can't imagine any reason why you would be trying to uh, mount a push-pull cooling system in uh, an HTPC. I mean, yeah, you get more static pressure, but the whole point of this thing is low profile. You don't want to go and throw two fans on it because you'd be far better off to put more metal on it at that point. The whole purpose is just to... Uh, to get it as small as possible. So one thing that I mentioned or didn't mention before is that this is a 100 millimeter fan. And this is kind of cool. So check this out. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pull all these through. Did that go through already? Yeah. Okay, so uh, two, there we go. Number three, oh, hold on. Having a little bit of trouble getting my fingers on that one. There we are. And the last one. I am a little bit on the OCD side. I will need to put all of these through in order to proceed with the video. And it is done. So this is kind of cool. It also has mounting holes for what I'll presume are a 92 millimeter. So it's 100 millimeter fan. It has 100 millimeter holes, which you can use to mount on this particular heatsink. But then you've also got the 92 mil holes if you wanted to use it as a case fan for whatever reason, although I wouldn't recommend that. So you've got three heat pipes. These are six millimeter heat pipes. You've got a nice flat base here with uh, machined heat pipes into it for a slightly better thermal performance versus having a metal cover and then the heat pipes embedded in that. I'll do the obligatory finger shot. You've got your universal mounting plate and like all of the other Physio series heat sinks, you have a little heat sink right above the CPU core 
right here. And unlike all of the other ones, this one will improve performance in a way that is meaningful because it actually has a downward blowing fan. The other ones are going to get some incidental airflow, but they are tower heat sinks, so they're not going to get a whole lot. You can see this is a tower heat sink, and then it has a little uh, cooler under it, whereas this one is actually going to get direct airflow right from the fan. Like all of the other Aphysio heat sinks, this one does focus all of its heat pipe cooling power right under where the fan blades are going to spin. So I'm going to go ahead and spin that. So you can see the heat pipes are one, two, three on that side and one, two, three on that side. So they're lined up, and there we go, right under where most of the airflow from this heat sink is going to happen. Now, unlike the other Aphysio series, this one does use a uh, quite a loose fin structure but I'm not going to fault it for that because I think in this particular application where you've got a slim fan, you're not going to be able to generate a lot of static pressure. So it's going to be all about using uh, a free flowing airflow as efficiently as possible and as quietly as possible. So you're not going to go ahead and put like a dense fin arrangement on this and you're not going to throw like a beefy huge fan on it. This is about efficiency. This isn't about raw performance. Like the other physios, I, okay, you're having trouble hearing that, I bet. There you go. You've got that slight rippliness to the aluminum fins, so that's going to give it slightly better cooling performance than just a flat fin. And you've also got a bit of a wave shape to it, which I think looks cool. Maybe it does something for performance, maybe it doesn't, I don't really care. And I think that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say about this low profile cooler. And uh, let's see if I can find something to compare the overall height to. Hmm, just for fun, why don't we compare it to a, uh, to a Noctua NH uh, D14. There we go. So here's a height comparison for you. There's that cooler. And there is the low profile Ephysio. The cooler's like done before the fins even start. <laughs> Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Ephysio low profile from Silent X.